Former President Donald Trump left the White House two years ago, fully aware that even if he avoided a federal prosecution into his conduct, prosecutors in his own hometown could still put him in legal jeopardy. As of Monday night, that prosecution, launched by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, is officially up in the air, on the heels of the sudden and unexpected resignation of the two prosecutors leading the case. Their boss, newly elected Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, has reportedly expressed his reservations about the success of the inquiry into Mr. Trump's business dealings, specifically whether Mr. Trump allegedly inflated the value of some of his holdings in order to obtain more favorable bank loans. It's a significant material event. Uh, with respect to the prosecution in this case. Glenn Jones, a partner at the law firm Abrams Fensterman LLP, is also a former prosecutor under legendary Manhattan DA Robert Morgenthau. They have uh, put in a lot of time. It's fairly late in the game. Uh, with respect to the presentation of this case uh, in front of the grand jury. The grand jury currently impaneled for this case, which has reportedly stalled over the last month, expires in April. And while D.A. Bragg does have the option of requesting an extension, it is clear filling the void of the two lead prosecutors who worked this case for years is no small task. Mr. Trump's attorney telling the Associated Press, quote, in my opinion, this investigation is over. Still, Mr. Mr. Trump and his associates, including his children, still have legal worries. There's Tish James, the AG in New York, the attorney general in New York, who's still bringing a civil complaint against them. Attorney Andrew Lieb. In fact, Trump and both of Ivanka and Trump Jr., Donald Jr., both have been compelled to testify in depositions, and that's going to be a whole lot of jeopardy for Trump. Not much coming out of the Manhattan DA's office, a spokesperson telling us, quote, we are grateful for their service. We can't comment further. The investigation ongoing.